Hey, Alien Institute members, Max von Neumann here. Today, we are going to cover how to find the vertex of a quadratic function by completing the square in a way in which I wish I had been taught. Before getting started, let's begin by mentioning a few areas where completing the square is used. I'm going to mention five areas that come to mind. One, finding the zeros of a quadratic equation. Two, finding the vertex of a quadratic equation. Three, formatting the equation of an ellipse. Four, formatting the equation of a hyperbola. And five, finding the integral of a function. So now what we are going to do today is we are going to find the zeros and the vertex of a quadratic equation at the same time. So what you see here is the same exact quadratic equation on both sides. So what we're going to do is for this equation, we are going to set it equal to zero. When we set a quadratic equation equal to zero, y equals zero means that the point does not move up or does not move down from the x-axis. Therefore, we are finding where the parabola crosses the x-axis. On this side, what we are going to do is we are going to manipulate the equation into this format. When it is in this format, the h is the x value and the k is the y value of the vertex of the parabola. So we begin this side by setting it equal to zero and we'll work both sides as we're going along. So you can see that we're going to use completing the square in two different types of ways. So right here, y equals zero. So now that we set y equal to zero, I find it convenient to put the zero on the other side. Now I'm showing a lot of the steps, but we'll uh, move through these as quickly as possible. I just happen to like the zero on the right hand side. Now over here, what we're going to do is we're just going to space it out. We're only going to work one side for the for the vertex type problem, you're not going to really manipulate the left side. For the zeros, the y equals zero type of problem, you're manipulating both sides of the equation. So over here, I'm just going to space it out and get it ready for the next step. I'm going to use red just to underline here. For the process of the completing the square when we get to it. Okay, now here, what I need to do is I need to space this one out like I spaced that one out. But remember, this one we're going to be working both sides. This one we only, technically we only have to work one side of the problem, but I'm going to show you both sides and then at the end show the one side. So over here, we are going to have x squared minus 6x. I'm going to leave my space for the completing of the square. And I'm going to add 16 to both sides. So therefore, this 16 
add 16 won't be there anymore, add 16 to zero, and ultimately I get 16. Again, I'm using the red pen to show the uh, completing of the square, which we haven't done yet. Okay, so let's complete the square over here. What is it that I'm going to do? You take half of the x term. So let's just do that in a step here. One half times negative six. Then you take the answer, which is negative three. And you square it. That's the completing of the square. So I square it to get nine, all right? So what's happening is I'm gonna be adding nine here, but I have to add nine to the other side. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and put that in red marker here so you can see what happened. I'm gonna put plus nine here, and I'm gonna put plus nine over here, and I'm adding it to the, the Y on that side. Now again, I'll show you something in a second, but I wanna do the completing of the square over here. So let's do the completing of the square over here where uh, I'll do it on the side. We're gonna take also one half of, it's basically this step again. So it's gonna be one half of negative six, one half of negative six, which is negative three. And then we square that and we get nine. So that's, uh, this is gonna be nine and that's where we're gonna add it here. So we're gonna put that in red marker here. So that's gonna be plus nine here. And plus nine here. So chew on these steps each step of the way so you make sure you get it. It's, it's pretty amazing. We're doing completing the square in two different ways, but one's going to actually get the vertex over here and the other one's going to find out where y equals zero or where it's crossing the uh, x-axis, where the parabola is crossing the x-axis. Okay, so real quickly, this is pretty easy to, um, let's look at this one in particular. Uh, x squared minus 6x plus 9, that's a perfect square. And if we save the negative 3, we know that x minus 3 squared is going to be so again if we did x minus 3 times x minus 3 we're actually going to get that term here or this uh, th these three terms here okay so now 16 plus 9 25 So I don't want to lose what's going on over here. So again, we're completing the square, which we've learned in the past from our other, uh, other videos, whether you watch the lightning series or the, the uh, regular set of videos. And over here, what's going to happen is, notice this plus 9 over here? Well, if I bring it back over here, I can subtract 9 over here. Now, what some people do is they never even touch the left-hand side. They just offset. They say, if I add 9 and I subtract 9, I really didn't do anything. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, I'm going to take this plus nine and I'm gonna I'm gonna subtract it from both sides. So I'm gonna subtract nine here, which will go away. But I'm gonna subtract nine over here, and now at this point we know that, uh, let's use a green pen here to box this in. We know we can factor this. We've already factored it on the left-hand side over here. So let's do this factoring, which we already know. This is ultimately going to swing down here and we are going to get y equals, factor that, x minus three squared minus 25. All 
All right, so keep that in mind. Now over here, I have to square both sides. Uh, t I'm sorry, I have to take the square root of both sides. We've already squared uh, this here. So how do you undo a square? You square root. So I am going to square root, we'll use green. I'm going to square root this and I'm going to square root the 25. Don't forget your plus or minus. Plus or minus because this x squared up here is telling us that we have two solutions. So now when you take the square root of a square, it just undoes it, which gives us x minus 3 equals plus or minus 5. We're almost home here. Okay, so x minus 3 is plus or minus 5 is what we get here. And now we can figure out the x's. Now remember, when we get the x, the y will be equal to 0. So let's do these separately. I'm going to do it right here where we have some open space. So I'm going to have x minus 3 plus 5. So now I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So I'm going to get, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. Let me just show that we're doing that. I'm going to add 3, gets rid of it here, gets x by itself. And then if I add 3 here, it's going to be ultimately, it's going to be 3. It's going to be x equals 3 plus 5. That's one of our x's. Remember fundamental theorem of algebra, we're going to get 2 solutions and then we're going to get x equals 3 minus 5. Okay, so now when you add 3 plus 5, that's going to be 8. So we're going to have x equals 8, y equals 0. That's one point where it's crossing the x-axis. And then 3 minus 5 is going to be x equals negative 2, y equals 0. And that's going to be our other point where it's crossing the x-axis. Okay, so now we know where the parabola is crossing the x-axis. Over here, we could have probably identified this earlier, but remember the formula, if you recall the formula up here. This is the h, and this is the k. So we know that our vertex, our vertex is sitting at 3, negative 25. 3, negative 25. Again, x equals 8, y equals 0, and x equals negative 2, y equals 0. This is where we cross the x-axis with the parabola right here, as you can see. And down here at 3, negative 25 is where the vertex is. So again, what we did is we completed the square in two different ways. One, to find the zeros 
of the quadratic equation, the other one to find the vertex of the quadratic equation. Okay, don't forget to like the video if it helped you out, share with your friends, family, whoever, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.